Hi everybody, how are you today? Welcome to Curries, from, Curries for Every Kitchen and I'm Shobha. Today I'm going to show you dosa. Dosa is, is like a French crepe. It's like a flat uh, pancake kind of a thing. Sometimes you stuff with it and sometimes you eat plain. For that you need urad dal. This is, it's called a black gram but its skin says, uh, skins are all removed and just regular plain white rice. The proportions for this is for one third cup of urad dal, one cup of rice. You have to combine them and wash them. Wash them very good until your rice, your, the water runs out very clear. That means all the starch need to come out in order for you to those come out really good. I already did that and soak it in water for three hours. Once you did, once you soak in the water, you need to grind them. You need a blender. I prefer glass blender because it makes it easier and smoother paste. And put it in the blender and blend it as smooth as you can, as little as as little water as possible. The most water you can put is like six tablespoons of it. Otherwise, it will be too liquid. I'm going to put one tablespoon first and then pulse it. By the way, you're pulsing it, you'll come back to everything. Add one more tablespoon of water, but this time just scrape all the sides. And let the blender run until you make a smooth paste of it. Okay, now our dosa batter is all smooth. We're going to take this into a non-reactive bowl. Either it can be glass or a plastic. Don't use a metal bowl. Add a pinch of a sugar, a quarter teaspoon of sugar, and mix it well. And leave it on the countertop for eight hours. Basically, if you want to make those eggs, on a Saturday, these, these things are better if you make it on a weekend. So soak your rice and dal Friday morning before you go into work. Saturday, I mean Friday evening when you come in, you grind the batter and put it in the countertop for 8 hours. These doses will be ready to make the, make the pancakes um, on Saturday morning. Our batter is ready for to make dosa. You can see it has a little bit of bubbles coming up and it raised a little bit and it smells wonderful and little fermented. Now to this you need to just dilute a little bit. Add a little bit of water maybe like a one or two tablespoons of water and then make it and add salt to your taste. Mix it well. You need dosa batter to be little as thin as pancake butter. For this our pan, you need a shallow pan. You don't need a deep pan at all. 
and it has to be extremely hot around 400 degrees like that and when the when your pan is hot you need to lubricate a little bit for that you need a damp paper towel and squeeze out all the water and the damp towel paper towel is rolled between the two wooden skewers and you just dip this in a little bit of oil and rub it up you don't need too much oil and if you especially if you use a nonstick pan you don't need a whole lot at all this will just lubricate and lift your dosa from your pan to that for that hot pan you need to cool it a little bit in order for your dosa batter to spread so you just take a sprinkle of water and sprinkle it on the pan and when all the water water vapor is dancing your pan is cool enough you put a spoon of batter and go in a circular motion spread it as fast as you can and as wide as you can try to keep it in the center make it into as thin as possible to that just take a little bit of oil just go around the edges like that one or two drops just to lubricate your pan and give a little bit shining to your dosing if we have a double griddle that's even better we can make two doses at one time now take your spatula and then try to lift it basically your dosa dosa will let you know when it is ready to be flipped because all the size sides are kind of rising from your dosa now when it is like that flip it and see look at that nice color and if you want it if you want it very crispy dosa leave it a little longer so all the sides of dosa all the back side of the dosa will be are brown and crispy and if you want softer you can take it faster it's all according to your taste now flip it back again and now i'm going to show you the stuffing this is my kids favorite stuffing you take a little two slices of regular american slicer cheese and pull it up and spread it all over your dosa This is a cheese dosa. I'm going to show you a masala dosa. Masala dosa is basically instead of cheesing with stuff, we we stuff up. Instead of stuffing with cheese, I'm sorry, my tongue got tied. Instead of stuffing with the cheese, we stuff with potato. Just add a batter, just like the way we did before. And spread it as fast as you can and as thin as you can. Add a little bit of oil. And by the way, this recipe makes twelve doses. And if you don't want to go through soaking the dal and grinding the dal and everything, by all means, you can buy instant mix in Indian store, and you can mix up dosa according to the package instructions and go through uh, make dosa same way. This just that's what that one tastes good as too. Ready? I'm going to stop. This is a potato curry. to stuff with dosa which is called masala dosa it's very popular in india and i added the recipe for this this curry in my website just go to that and make make doses and let me know how it turns out